it on YouTube, okay? <laughs> on Facebook. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tag you. <laughs> YouTube. Okay, this is the arm. So let's talk about the muscles of the arm. Okay, this is the scapula. So, okay, so if we're talking about the muscles of the scapula, this would be the supra spinatus because it's above the spine of the uh, of the scapula, and underneath would be the infra spinatus because it's also with the infra spinous fossa. Yes, exactly, all this. Yes, except for this, this one underneath the spine, because this is the teresis, the teres minor and the teres major. It's different from the rhomboids, okay? Because the rhomboids are on the lateral, uh, on the medial border of the scapula. So the teres, exactly. So this is the teres, my uh, ma minor and major. The rhomboids are, the, if you can imagine, my fingers as the as the muscles. It's like that. So the major would be going that way, and then the minor is on top. And then there's another muscle on the very um, angle of the scapula, which is the levator scapulae. So, so that you would know whether it's the levator scapulae, you have to know where the angle of the scapula would be. Make sense? Okay, moving on, moving on. This is the subscapularis because it's under the scapula, okay? That's the subscapularis, but when you think about it in an anatomical position, that's anterior to you. Make sense? Okay, let's move on to the humerus area. So in this part, you have to know, of course, the biceps. Okay, the long head and the short head. And the coracobrachialis. That's important. Coracobrachialis. Okay, it starts from the coracoid to the humerus, to the top of the humerus. And that's different from the brachioradialis. Now, a lot of students interchange that, so make sure you know where the coracobrachialis is and the brachioradialis will be. Okay, the brachioradialis is the uh, fleshiest most part of your hand. So if you do it like that, you flex it, you can actually see your brachioradialis. Make sense? So that's the fleshiest part of your arm, that's the brachioradialis there over there. So moving on, if this is the brachioradialis, this is the extensor carpi longus, okay, carpi longus, and this is the brevis underneath, this is the carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, brevis is shorter, okay, and this is the extensor digitorum, because if you follow the muscle over here, it actually spreads out to the other fingers, so that means digitorum means all the digits of your hand, so that's why it's easier that way, make sense? Yeah, and then the extensor carpi, what's that? <laughs> Ulnaris, <laughs> okay, well, if you make, um, if you look into this, this is the ulna part, remember, if you open it like that, remember, the most lateral would be the radius, that's why if you turn this over, this is the ulna portion, because that's where your elbow would be. In this portion, in the anterior portion, the best way to remember it is with your four fingers. If you put it like that, you can see that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. Make sense? That's like that. One, two, three, four. Make sense? And that's without the brachioradialis. So if this is your brachioradialis, if you turn your hand like that, that would be your other, like that, it looks like that. So if you do it on your other side, let's say you got a model for the right hand, then turn your hand like that, you can see your brachioradialis, and do it like that. Make sense? And remember PFPF. PFPF, P for pronator, right? And then F would be flexor, letter P again for palmaris, and then another flexor. To remember everything, you've got the pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, because this is the radius at the outermost, right? And then the palmaris longus, and the flexor carpi ulnaris. And this side, it's the same way. So if this is the brachioradialis, pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and the flexor carpi ulnaris. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And at the back, the triceps. So just remember the triceps brachii. Wait, these two? Yes. What's that one over there? Okay. <laughs> Yay, that's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.